Hello everyone, this is Manisha welcoming you to Math Magic. Today, we are going to discuss a new topic in math that is perimeter and area. Now, why we need perimeter? Why we you, uh, need this topic, this particular topic? Well, the unit and the topic of area and perimeter are really very important to mathematics because they are the physical aspects of mathematics. They are the foundation for understanding other aspects of geometry, such as volume, uh, mathematical theorems that help us understand algebra, trigonometry, and calculus. Now, by the end of this lesson, students will be able to distinguish between the concept of perimeter and area. They will be in state to list down the formulas for finding the perimeter and area of different shapes. They will be in state to determine perimeter and area of assorted shapes. So let's start. In everyday life, area and perimeter are used constantly. For example, uh, describing the size of a house by talking about its floor area or working out how much wire is needed to fence of a field. Area. Area is a measure of how much space is there. For example, this field. Now, in this field, the perimeter is the distance around the outside of a shape, outside of this garden. Whereas, area measures the space inside a shape. Calculating the area of a shape or surface can be useful in everyday life. For example, you may need to know how much paint to buy to cover a wall or how much grass seed you need to sow a lawn. Now let us have a look at this example. Here is the aunt. She wants to put some flower bedding round the edges of the garden, but she is not sure how much space will be required. Any solution? Yes, you all are right. We need to find the perimeter of the garden. In this way, we will get to know how much space is actually required to cover up the boundaries. Now let us have a look at the swimming pool. This man wants to cover the swimming pool with the tarpaulin. What should he calculate? Well, he should know the space occupied by the swimming pool. So he should calculate the area first. Perimeter. Let's check out the formula for finding the perimeter of different shape. The first shape that we have with us is a rectangle. We know that rectangle, rectangle is a four-sided figure with two lengths and two breadths. So, perimeter or the distance around the boundary will be length plus breadth plus length plus breadth. Or we can say it is 2 length plus 2 times breadth. Taking 2 common from the formula, you will, uh, we will have 2 multiplied by length plus breadth means just add on the length and breadth and then multiply it by 2 so as to get the perimeter of a rectangle. Coming to the next shape is square. Now what should be the perimeter for a, a square? It is simple. All we need is just to add up all the sides. So in a square we have four sides. Just add up all the sides and you will get 4 multiply by side. Right? This was simple. Now let's have another shape. What is this? A triangle. Now we know that in a triangle we have three sides. So the perimeter should be side 1 plus side 2 plus side 3 or A plus B plus C where A and B and C can be any number. 
let's come to the area we have already done this activity that is using a square paper so using a square paper we can easily find that the area of rectangle will be its length multiplied by its breadth so here is the formula for area of rectangle that is length multiplied by breadth or width coming to the square it's easy just as in rectangle we multiplied length and width same in this case we are going to multiply one side by the another side since we know that in a square the sides are same or sides are equal so the simple formula for this will be side multiplied by side so area of square will be side multiplied by side now third one is triangle now we have a triangle on our screen do you know that we have a height for this triangle this is the height and a base this is the base and now the area for this triangle will be half multiplied by base multiplied by height means first you need to multiply base by the height and then divide it by two in this way, you will get the area of the triangle. Now, let us have a look at some real life examples. The first example is the example of a triangular park. Now, the sides of the triangular park are given to you. 19, uh, 14 centimeter or 14 meter, 9, 17 meter and 20 meter. Can you find its perimeter? Well, it's damn easy. All you need is just add on all the sides. So it's 14 meter, 17 meter, and 20 meter. By adding up all the sides, we will get 51 meters. This was easy. Let's come to the next question. Oh, that's an interesting. It seems like it's a jogging park. Well, Ron, uh, Ron jogs around a rectangular park of 50 meter and breadth 30 meter if he takes 10 round of the park each day how many distance does he cover in a day in kilometer well they are asking for 10 rounds and that's two in kilometer hmm jogging around the park it means we need to find the perimeter for this say hi to his rod so Ron jogs around a rectangular park of length 50, right? So he will cover the boundary of this rectangular park. It means he's walking or uh, jogging around the perimeter. So the perimeter for this rectangular park will be 50 plus 30 plus 50 plus 30. This will give you 160 meter now this perimeter is equals to one round of the park but if he takes 10 round of the park then how much distance will he cover using the unitary method we can easily say that the distance covered in 10 rounds will be 10 multiplied by 160 that will give you 1600 meters or since we have to convert this into kilometers as demanded by the equation so we need to divide this by thousand giving you the answer 1.6 kilometers coming to next example now this is something which is really very interesting the diagram shows the shape and dimension of teresa's rose garden oh this is a beautiful rose garden first thing that we need to find is the area of the garden don't look at the second question let's solve the first question first so find the area of the garden hmm let us check which shape is this exactly uh this is not a exact square or exact rectangle so which shape well i feel that if we divide it horizontally by drawing this horizontal line we can actually have Two rectangles don't you think so so let's draw a horizontal line now after drawing a horizontal line we will have two rectangles rectangle number one 
that is ABCD and rectangle number 2 that is CEFG. I hope you all agree. Now what we need to do? We can find the area of the first rectangle and then the second rectangle and then we can add the areas of these two rectangles to get the area of the whole shape. So let's find the area of the first rectangle that is ABCD. So area of the garden ABCD will be its length multiplied by its width that is 15 multiplied by 9. This will give you 135 square feet. Remember, the units of area is always in square. Then coming to the next rectangle, that is rectangle CEFG. For this, we have length equals to 24 feet and breadth is equals to 18 minus 9, that is 9 feet. So this will give you 216 square feet. Alright, so we got the area of the first rectangle and the second rectangle. All we need to do now is just add up these two and we will get the area of the whole rose garden. Now, the second part, B part. Area of the rose garden is 351 square feet. Now the next question was how many bags of fertilizer will be needed if one bag can actually cover 12 square feet. So the answer for this will be 351 square feet divided by 12 square feet. This will actually give you the number of bags of fertilizer needed to complete the whole field to cover up the whole feet. So yes, Teresa will need 30 bags of fertilizer, right? On your screen is the next example now. The length of rectangle is 4 less than 3 times its width. If its length is 11 cm, then find the perimeter. Well, this is simple. All you need is first to just draw a rectangle where we have length equals to 11 cm and since width is not given to us, so we can assume it to be W. Now, let's write what is being given to us and what is given as per the question. So, as per the question, it is given that length is equals to 3 times width and then minus 4 from it or subtract 4 from 3 times its width. So, we will have length is equals to 3W minus 4. Also, it is given to us that length is 11 cm and we need to find the perimeter, means the boundary, the sum of all the sides of the rectangle. So, we can equate these two things and we will have that, yes, 11 is equals to 3W minus 4, means we are equating the length. After equating the length and solving it further, we will get W is equals to 5. Now, this is the width. Now, we know the length, we know the width. So, finding the perimeter is not a tough task. All we need to do is just add up all the sides. Means 11 plus 5 plus 11 plus 5. This will give us 32. You can also apply the formula and add the length and width first and then multiply it by 2, giving you the same answer that is 32. to the next question how many square tiles of 9 centimeter will be needed to fit in a square floor of bathroom of site 720 centimeter that's an interesting question and very important question so what is given to us it is being given that the side of the bathroom floor is 720 centimeters right and it is square in shape. So, we can easily find the area of the floor. I think it is easy. Area of the floor will be 720 multiplied by 720. And the area of the tile will be 9 multiplied by 9. Now, how many tiles will be needed? Means, how many small, small tiles will be needed to actually 
fill the area of the floor. So for this, we just have to divide the total area of the floor by the area of each tile. This will give you the numbers of tiles required. So number of tiles is equals to area of floor divided by area of each tile that is 518400 divided by 81. This will give you 6400 tiles. Now cost of tiling. Since the cost of tiling, uh, the cost of each tile is 75 rupees. So the cost for 6400 tiles will be 480,000. Now for this, you can use the unitary method as well. Now let's see the next question. This question is homework for you all. All you need to do in this is just apply the formula of area of rectangle, area of triangle and solve it out. That was all in today's video. I hope this video was helpful for you all. So if it, Please do like, share, comment and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.